Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. You see, um, Jesus' understanding of spiritual things was is a bit different from our own understanding. The Bible says, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man? Then he will spoil his house. As far as Jesus was concerned, humankind was under the authority of Satan. What will eventually translate into his public ministry? His ability to deliver people from Satan's stranglehold will be determined by a quiet encounter with Satan that is not displayed on Facebook. A, an encounter with Satan that is not posted on Instagram. From the perspective of the spirit realm, before you start your ministry, heaven already knows whether you have failed. So when people come to Takra Day to set up a tower for God, they get cameras and they broadcast on Facebook. I am so, 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 and so the senior prophet of The man wants to broadcast to the entire land. Meanwhile, he has not met with the authority that governs the territory. The mileage that Jesus was going to cover in ministry was going to be occasioned by the outcome of his visit to the territorial landlord. Jesus said, how can a man enter into a strong man's house. And he was, this statement, he was speaking in parables, making reference to Satan. That he has an intention to spoil the goods of the strong man. Namely, men that are held in captivity to the wilds of darkness. He said the first thing to do is not to go and start spoiling the things in the strong man's house. We set up our structures to broadcast so that the things in the, under the strong man's power, we can release them. Jesus said, there is something that comes before that. You will need to bind the strong man. I attended a faith Bible college, faith-based. A faith-colored Bible college. Everything was faith. Where we believed that nothing was impossible. And that we believe we had intercontinental ballistic missiles that was capable of taking over two cities. We were told lofty things, great things, high things. And we're just looking for the opportunity to invade. When we got to the field, we are still looking for some of the people we went with. Because it's obvious the head count is not complete. We're not told that at some point, because if you don't wait to meet with a strong man and you go on, at some point he will meet with you. Jesus came to the testing grounds before Satan appeared. Jesus was not coming there to pray and fast. He was coming there to be tempted. It was him that decided that the way of praying and fasting would be the most strategic way to approach this situation. Most of us did not prepare long term for ministry. You are supposed to have accumulated prayer and fasting, prayer and fasting, prayer for years. If that, if you know that that is the purpose that you are called to execute, oh, and you didn't lay any foundation for it, it's just like marriage. People get married and they want to become naked and run on the beach in Sun City in South Africa. <laughs> they are not aware that Satan will come. So Satan arrives the ground of testing before they arrive. And they are hoping that they will defeat a spirit being that you encounter unprepared. Uh, 
you, you will change your channel. <laughs> so Jesus says, no microphone, no PA system, no power am amplifier. Let us go and look. This trouble, this trouble man, let's find him. How did Jesus find him? Because Jesus was man. Are you there? Satan was still spirit. Are you following? The, the arrangement was not proper. Where is the location where you will find this spirit being? You know what? The moment you begin to pray and fast, you don't need to find him. He will locate you. He will trace you. He will come. I remember when I was posted to Lagos, I was still working and doing ministry. My wife got angry that he wanted to do three days spiritual exercise, fasting. On the third day of her fast, somebody came through the wall and visited her in the room. And said, Madam Sarah said, you should stop this, your prayer. And went back through the wall. My wife is still here. Madam Sarah, we didn't know who she was. <laughs> we had never sent her an invitation to our house, but she began to send emissaries into our bedroom. I mean, it was our bedroom that they, that, that, that messenger came up. So she now called me and said, it's only when there's trouble there that our wives call us. <laughs> if they drive a car out and the car dies, they'll call you and say, come on, take your car. Yeah. The moment you begin to pray, he will come. So if you want the devil's address, the, the address is called prayer. <laughs> prayer. Prayer. And you will need to defeat him. Your defeat of him in the closet, you will reap it in your, in your ministry in the public. Because you have been able to bind the strong man, you will spoil his goods. Thank you for watching this video. Please do want to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We love you.